Okay, hi, this is Anton with Tax Law Offices. This is going to be a short two minute video. What happens if you get audited and now you owe the IRS some amount of tax, maybe for one year, maybe for uh, several years, and now you're receiving these notices for amounts due? This is what I want you to do. Uh, very easy, uh, and this will help you out. Okay. Take those notices, that one or multiple notices for each of the years, and I want you to circle two items. One is going to be the address that that notice was sent from. The other is going to be the amount that IRS says is due. And make sure you include the, you include the full amount because it may have interest and penalties, and I want you to have that for every year. Okay, now, the address is going to be where you send this package of documents that I'm going to tell you. The the amount that you have, take that amount or those amounts total for each year and divide that total by 72. And that's going to be the amount of monthly installment agreement that you request from the IRS. Okay. Usually people just want a monthly payment plan to make it all go away. This is how we do that. Okay. You're going to complete a form 433D. That's the easiest way. It's actually in the installment agreement. Uh, you, will, you will complete your name and address, your social security number. You will, if it's for you and a spouse, include both of you on that form. These payments should be direct debited from your bank account. So you'll see the boxes where you put in your bank routing number and account number. Very important, make sure that you include that. And if you have a check, also include a copy of the check so that IRS can always confirm those numbers. Okay, that remember that amount that you divided by 72, put that in the amount as probably the, the minimum payment that IRS is going to accept. Okay, don't forget there's also a box there that you have to put in your initials and you have to sign it. You cannot be a computerized signature or initial, you have to actually sign it. Okay, that form I want you to place on top of the notice or notices that you receive and mail it to the address from uh, that the notice was sent. Okay, simple enough. Like I said, it's unfortunate that you got audited, now this amount is due, but this is usually the easiest way to deal with it. Okay, all right, thanks again. I'm Anton with Tax Law Office. I hope this helps you out. All right, take care.